Hello everyone, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be reviewing Misfits Market, but we're also going to be comparing Misfits Market to Imperfect Foods to kind of compare and contrast the two different food services, which one you should choose, which one I'm going to end up choosing over the long run, and so forth. So I hope you enjoy this video. And also, let me know if there's any similar services I should try down below, and then I can just keep this kind of food delivery service going. Specifically, eco food delivery services, food delivery services that are focusing on keeping food out of the landfill um, and selling stuff that grocery stores otherwise wouldn't sell. But Anyway, with that, let's just go ahead and jump right into the review. I know this video is about Misfits Market, but I wanted to talk about a really big con with Imperfect Foods since we are talking also about the comparison between the two services. Big con, I did not order anything this week from Imperfect. By that, I mean I did not go in and physically add anything to my cart, but this still showed up at my door. I'll explain why. So Imperfect Foods does this thing where they auto add stuff to your cart, some sort of AI, artificial intelligence, looking at your past orders, seeing what you might order in the future, which is cool, but they also have this separate service where you can auto order every st stuff every week. For example, we order apples pretty much every week. So I could go in and say, hey, I would like two pounds of apples every week. And that would just auto ship to me. But I didn't do that. If you go into my account on my auto ship to me tab, no things are added. This week, you know, I was planning on getting Misfits Market to try for this video. And then I get my email on, I think it might have been yesterday or Saturday, regardless, saying, hey, your imperfect order has shipped. I'm like, what do you mean? I didn't order anything. And it was the stuff that they had auto added to my cart. And so let's open this box. I thought this would be fun. I hate this. This makes me very upset because what if there's something in here I can't eat that I'm allergic to or that's not vegan? The point is, I think this is, you know, it's great for business because they still get to make food. I mean, they still get to make money every week but they do it in such a sneaky way that it makes me not want to order from them again. I mean, there's still a lot from the service that I appreciate, but this is not one of them. Six apples, blueberries. I know I ordered cherry tomatoes from Misfits, so got lots of cherry tomatoes this week. I did not need, I ordered lemons from Misfits, so we're gonna have lots of repeat items. The most unripe avocados I've ever seen. Miyoko's cheese, which is cool, I love Miyoko's. Chocolate hummus, I've always wanted to try it, always been skeptical, so I guess that gives me an excuse. And then some sausage, which I could have used yesterday but so even though it's really unfortunate that they sent this at least it's all stuff that we will eat so I'm curious to see if Misfits does the same thing so I'll be back later this week to update you on that I think that really will be the tiebreaker for me on which service I use I will also later in this video will be doing an exact side-by-side -side comparison on what I ordered from Misfits and then price matching it to Imperfect to see which one is cheaper just a little update on the Misfits it was supposed to arrive yesterday. They emailed me like your order's out for delivery. It's gonna arrive today. 9 p.m. rolls around and there's still no box. I got on their website and now it says our estimated delivery is tomorrow which is very frustrating because we do our grocery shopping on Saturdays. And so we plan all of our meals for the week as to try to not avoid food waste. So now we we have no produce. We, th I mean, thankfully we got that box from Imperfect. We did have some fruit to eat this week. It's very frustrating that it's two days late and they didn't tell me I had to go on their website and look. And we're also going out of town this weekend. Like we're leaving on Friday. So this produce that's gonna arrive tomorrow, hopefully we won't even be able to eat until next Tuesday. Hopefully it doesn't go bad. Ugh. I'm very frustrated at this point. Honestly, with both brands, here it is. So I got an email that said it was delivered. At 3.36 a.m., it was not. So I, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and just say it was a typo. So I really don't know when it was actually delivered, but I was so concerned. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this email just in case, cause like, I know it wasn't delivered at that time. But anyway, here it is. Thank goodness it came and it came a day early. Well, it came daily. One thing I already like more about Imperfect is that they take back their ice packs and their like foam packs um, and they reuse them. They don't, which is a shame. I might just try to pawn this off on Imperfect. <laughs> Here's some cardboard. And then the entire thing is lined with this like insulation. So that's not cool. I don't really know how I'm gonna reuse that. Right off the bat, we're not looking strong, but here's the haul. We got mushrooms, a cucumber wrapped in plastic, baby bok choy, cilantro, bunch of radishes. Those are cute. A bunch of spinach. And then, yeah, I'm not gonna show you everything, but I also got carrots, some cabbage, a whole bunch of apples, lemons, an interesting assortment of potatoes. I thought I ordered much more potatoes, but overall I'd say again, Similar to Imperfect, none of this actually looks imperfect or like Misfits. Some of it is small, sure, but none of it looks ugly like I thought. But let's see what else we got. I did get lettuce. I got some green onions. I got a kabocha and cherry tomatoes, which now we have a crap ton of cherry tomatoes to eat because Imperfect sent me some. We got all this. 
everything I showed you plus more for like only $36, $39. It was very, very good deal. So now let's quickly go over some pros and cons to each service as I pack my box back up. Pro number one to Misfits, it is cheaper, I think. I am almost certain. Again, tomorrow, once my cart opens for Imperfect, I'm gonna run the numbers for the exact same products. Tomorrow, I will also find out if Misfits is like Imperfect in that they auto send items. If they don't, automatic win for Misfits. Some cons to Misfits. They were late, really interrupted our dinner plans for the week. That was kind of frustrating. And the I, the I think the biggest con for me, even more than being late, is that they don't take back any of these items, like the ice packs and that insulation. If they took that back, it would reduce their waste so much. It would reduce my waste as a consumer. But another pro, I was really happy to see that not very many things were wrapped in plastic. Okay, so this makes sense why it was late. I was wondering why it was taking so long to ship. And that's because this came from Utah. I'm pretty confident that Imperfect has a facility here in Vegas because they're always like within the same six hour window-ish, but they were late and then they said it would be here tomorrow and then it came today. Where are we, West Jordan? <gasps> it's a six hour drive. Okay, so I'm gonna need to find out if Imperfect is located in Vegas. If so, that's an automatic win for me. I think I will just have to go with Imperfect even though I have some gripes about them just because I don't want my groceries to have to be shipped essentially 12 hours, six there, six back to their facility because that's really defeating the purpose of reducing all this from going to landfill and said just putting all that carbon into the atmosphere. Obviously the first pro for me with Imperfect is that they take back their ice packs and all their insulation packs. They reuse them. I think that is so cool. I wish both services would take their boxes back. The stuff they use to keep it cold misfits is not that much, but still the fact that I have to dispose of it and just throw it in the landfill is sad. Other things I like about Imperfect, they have a lot more options, I feel like, on their website. I think that's it for pros. <laughs> Cons, it is more expensive and they automatically put stuff in my cart, which is really frustrating. But I mean, I guess I just have to go in there on weeks that I don't want in order and just remove everything from my cart. It's not like the end of the world, it's just frustrating. But ultimately what it comes down to for me is that I'm gonna choose the facility that is closest to me so that it doesn't have to be shipped thousands or hundreds of miles. So that defeats the purpose. So I encourage you to choose based off that as well if you have one service closer to you than the other. You might wanna go on that. But also if you're on a budget, Misfits is probably the way to go. It is cheaper. Okay, and I said I was just gonna throw photos on the screen, which I still will, but I wanted to explain each website, they don't offer the same exact things every week. It's due to what's available. So I ordered a kabocha from Misfits. Imperfect didn't have that for the comparison, so I got a butternut. I'm not actually getting this, just for the comparison. I did a butternut and then they also didn't have regular radish, so I got daikon radish, which is close enough. They didn't have, I don't know where it went. And then they also didn't have cabbage, so I just threw in another greens mix for comparison. Here's the price difference. Same exact stuff. Misfits Market comes out to $38.19, including the shipping cost. And then including the shipping cost from Imperfect Foods, it's $57.68. $20 more for the same exact stuff. I want to see where Imperfect ships from, because that's the deciding factor for me. Is there a shipping label still on here? Well, it's so heavy. Ugh. Oh, I ripped it off. Did I rip it off all of these? <gasps> no, okay. Okay, so it just, it just says Vegas. It doesn't actually have like an origin address. Is this one? Well, I'm pretty confident Imperfect comes from Vegas. So ultimately yesterday when I got my Misfits box, I was like, you know what? I'm definitely gonna order from Imperfect. There are so many pros, but it's $20 more. I personally am able to and willing to spend that extra money for a service that takes back and reuses their ice packs and their insulation packs. That is very important to me and as well as the emissions, honestly. I think it's also really cool with Imperfect. I talked about this in the actual Imperfect review video. It sh actually shows you where it's come from. So it'll say, okay, here's this mango. It's coming from Brazil. These pears coming from Washington. These apples coming from California. It helps me also more easily to control my carbon footprint because I can say, okay, I'm gonna try to order everything from California. That's the closest grown to me in Nevada. So that helps reduce my carbon footprint as well. Misfits does not have that. So who knows, maybe all that stuff that I ordered didn't just, you know, arrive it didn't just come from me from Utah to Nevada. It also probably came from Chile and Brazil and the carbon footprint is higher in that reason as well. But I just wanted to share that. I hope that this was a cohesive review for you in comparing these two services. Let me know which one you would choose down below or if you use one of these services, let me know which one you use down below and why you use it. Also, if you want more opinions on both services, I will leave my friend Coco's video li linked above and below. She did a review similar to this comparing the two, but that is all that I have for today. Thank you for watching. I talk about all sorts of things, zero waste, focusing on free, easy, and fun ways to live low waste and practical ways to be an activist if you're new here and you haven't hit subscribe yet. 
And if you want to help my channel, just giving a simple thumbs up on the bottom of this video helps support this channel a lot. But yeah, that is all that I have for today. Thank you for watching. I hope that this was fun. And until next time, remember that the small changes you make have a big impact in the long run. Bye guys. But we're also gonna be comparing Misfit Market to Impossible, no, Imperfect. But we're also gonna be comparing Misfit Market, Misfits. Also fun fact, if anyone else is a language nerd like me, kabocha is actually the Japanese word for pumpkin. So this is not like a special, like saying kabocha pumpkin is just redundant. <laughs>